All right, we're going to have a look at flow line maps or flow charts. So a couple of things that you'll notice about most flow charts is that they use a common feature. That's my neighbours. Arrows. Arrows show the movement of something. It could be goods, services, people, money, um, anything moving from one location to another. And the arrows show the origin, where that movement starts, and the destination, where it ends. So you'll see the arrowhead on the destination and it's pointing towards the movement of that flow. The other thing that you should notice about these arrows is, is how wide they are, their width or their thickness indicates the volume of flow. So the general idea is the thinner the arrow, the less movement of whatever feature is being mapped, um, and the thicker the arrow, the larger the volume of whatever is being mapped. That's about it really. Now I've got a sample one here, it didn't print too well, so we're just going to fudge it a bit with some of the information on here. So here's two practice exam style questions, and we're going to see what we can decipher from this map. So question one reads, the USA, and I'll just point out that this country here is the USA. The USA exports, that means exits, exports how many millions of barrels of oil to South America. So this map is about oil products moving around the world and we're looking for South America was the other location. So we've got the USA here and South America. So we're looking for the USA exporting. So it starts here and it exports to South America. So we're looking for an arrow that moves from the USA to South America. So we should first of all look for this arrow. So it starts in the USA and goes down to South America. But we want to know how many. So we've got the arrow, we found it. It's the only one that's leaving the USA and going to South America. Now we want to know how wide it is because, or how thick it is. That's going to tell us how much or how many barrels. So the key here was really unclear, so I've written over the top of it and made it less clear. So the, the th very thin arrow was 1 million barrels, the mid, mid thickness is 5 million barrels, and then 10 million barrels. So which of these three is closest to the width of this arrow? It's probably the 1 million barrel. So that's going to be my answer. 1 million. Question two is multiple choice. Let's have a look at it together. Which country does Canada export oil to? Again, it's exiting Canada. So we want to find an arrow which exits Canada and goes towards one of these four locations. Remember in multiple choice, we're looking for either the most correct answer where the other three have to have something clearly wrong with them. So let's have a look. Where is Canada? I'm just going to grab a different colour for our second question. And I'm going to outline very poorly Canada. So Canada I've just outlined up here in orange and I'll put can next to it. We need to find out if there is a flow line from Canada to which one of these four countries. So let's cross them off. Australia. Is there an arrow leaving Canada? going all the way over here to Australia. I can't see one, so I'm going to cross Australia off the list. Is there an arrow leaving Japan? Uh, sorry, Canada for Japan? No. Is there an arrow going, f sorry, so Australia's here if you didn't know, Japan's here, and South Africa is down here. Is there an arrow leaving Canada going towards South Africa? Again, no. So I'm left with the USA. It's got to be correct. But let's check. Is there an arrow leaving Canada and heading towards the USA? Yes. So D would be my answer. Process of elimination. I crossed out the ones that I know are not correct. And that's it.